I'm, I'm really uh, greatly impressed and uh, grateful that uh, an aspect of our history as a people has been uh, you know, captured for posterity in, in, in this monument because uh, history by its very nature cannot be sliced up like a loaf of bread. Uh, it's one continuum and that's how we should understand history. Uh, your response to some media reports that the, the Fortrack monument in particular is facing a financial crisis. If, if uh, the Department of Arts and Culture uh, has the means to assist, they should really assist here. Because this is part of our heritage here. In the past, while uh, the, the, the monument and Freedom Park have been working quite closely together, is this kind of collaboration important? Mm. It, it is important because, you know, uh, in, in many parts of our country there would be historical sites which uh, are important for our history uh, and for posterity. It, it is important that all of them should be brought to the correct levels of uh, uh, depicting whichever aspect of the history that they are depicting. And, and, and so that, uh, you know, we can have a, a logical trade that uh, young people and, you know, the uh, visitors can follow in order to understand who we are, where we come from, and, and you know, what the future holds for us. So in the current context, how important is the appreciation uh, of this kind of history, some of which may be uncomfortable some, for some people? Uh, how important is it in terms of a nation building and national cohesion and building a common identity? Well, you know, history is history. There's not much you can do about it. You can't undo it, you can't uh, airbrush it, you can't uh, distort it. It has to be told as factually as is possible. Uh, that, and, and that then serves as the platform for us moving forward in our endeavor to create a truly united, democratic, non-racial, non-sexist South African nation.